the 22nd video in the video series of Orbital Mechanics of Python. This one, I'm going to be going over tracking the Tesla Roadster in space. So I'm just going to get straight to it. Uh, basically, I have this, this is how I got the ephemeris data for the initial conditions, which I showed in the last video in the horizons. You just have to make sure you have the right units in the right frame. So you want to make sure you have kilometers per second, because you can do um, astronomical units in days here. Uh, Tesla Road serves three, which will give you the precision and velocity. And uh, you want your center body name to be solar system barrier center, which is not the same as saying the sun, because the solar system barrier center is actually outside of the sun's radius because of Jupiter. So they're not the same thing. So we have that, and then make sure ICRF J2000, the ecliptic, where the ecliptic plane is the plane of the orbit of the Earth and not its not its uh, poles. So that there's a bit of an angle there. You want to make sure you have the right one because you need everything to line up with the spice files in order to be able to do this. So then once you get all that, uh, you can do this in the online version as well, but you have your XYZ, VX, VY, VZ. So you have that, and then that's how I plug it in here. Um, I just said this, just straight copy and paste. And nice thing in Python, you can actually do a semicolon here and just start the next line. Um, where it's say, like in C or Java, you'd always use a semicolon. This is just a nice little Python kind of feature that they have. Just uh, not necessary. You can put them all in one line, but I just want to show that. And then, so you get your initial state into XYZ, VX, VY, VZ. You want to have your initial date. You want to make sure you specify that as the 8th of February of 2018 because that's what initially launched. And then I just have it going until today, but you don't necessarily have to. Uh, you want your bodies that you want in there because you want to see in reference to, say, um, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, where is the roadster? Uh, as I said in the getting the frame right, so make sure you have Ecliptic J2000 for this. And then Solar System Barrier Center, you got to make sure that runs right as well. So going through this, it kind of looks very similar to the video I did um, with the orbits of the planets. The uh, same thing. So furnish the solar system kernel with a solar system kernel make file looks like this. So you can have two of the both of these files in here. So you only have to call. Um, you only have to load in one file instead of two. Uh, you have your spice UTC to ET, so it turns kind of human readable human readable date into seconds since J two thousand. So you want to do that for the initial time and final time. So from that, you can get the time span because there's just two float values. So then you should get the time span. And then this times TC to array, it just creates a lint space of array to use um, right here. Just just creates a lint space in order to use for um, actually querying the spice files. Times ours. So this is pretty much the same thing as the solar system orbits because it's kind of doing the same thing. And I'm also outputting these CSV files, which I haven't gone over, which isn't necessary because I'm doing the CSV files because I made a GIF out of this, um, which I'll show you, but I'm going to cover how to do the GIFs uh, later on. And then, as usual, just create your initial or your orbit propagator instance for Tesla Roadster with the initial state. Uh, and make sure the um, central body is the sun because it's going to be around the sun. Uh, once again, I have this function of the right trajectory just writes out a CSV of the trajectory um, in orbit propagator. I'll cover that in the future. Add it to the R's list and then plot in orbits like usual R's labels. Make sure you have a central body. And I said save plot because I'm not going to write um, in the video because I've been finding that my computer gets really, really slow when I'm doing the screen capture. So uh, it just wasn't worth wasting people's time. So I guess I'll, I'll do the GIF second. I wanted to show this is what you get uh, from that script. You can see that uh, Earth and Roadster right here are starting in the same place. Um, and then going out, where you can see the, the orbit of Roadster goes out a bit outside of Mars and then comes back into the Earth's orbit. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of what it looks like. And then for the GIF, because the GIF is a bit more um, exciting to look at. So you can see right here, Earth and Tesla, well, they start at the same place and then Tesla just escapes away. Okay, I'm going to refresh that because the most important part is the beginning right there. Um, you can see all the other inner planets, but that's a Tesla right there. And just let this play out for one orbit because then it comes back to Earth orbit because it's assuming just two body. But it's not going to collide with Earth. So yeah, so that's actually pretty much it. This is pretty big. So yeah, that's pretty much it with that. And that's basically all I had for this because it's actually pretty simple. Uh, so the next video I'm going to cover escape trajectories. I want to subscribe to for it. So that's what I'm going to do. Basically just using orbit propagator in order to model an escape trajectory and simulate it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know uh, as usual anything too slow, too fast. And thank you for watching.